Kiefer Mansion, sitting on a hill overlooking the Welland Canal in Thorold, Ontario, has 200 years of history within its walls. After sitting empty for several years, it is being restored to its original grandeur. But future visitors should be forewarned that many of the building's previous inhabitants are said to be still living there as ghosts. This happened at the Kiefer residence during a restoration process. I was working on the second floor and I descended down to the first floor to pick up some materials. I had turned to my left to notice a person walking towards me. It was a figure that was looking very sickly and wet. I yelled out for assistance. Hello? Because I wished to help this person. When I turned back to look at this person, the person had disappeared. And there was no moisture on the floor. Thinking it was an illusion, I turned to my right and I was going to leave the spot. But suddenly, this figure lurched at my throat. It started to strangle me and I felt that I was going to lose consciousness. Suddenly, from the second floor, one of my co-workers yelled down, Hey, Bob! As I suddenly came back to my uh, senses, I noticed that my hands were tightly uh, around my, my throat and they were dripping with water. Also, as I removed my hands from my throat, I noticed my chest was thoroughly soaked. I decided to move away very quickly, to run for my life, never to return to the Kiefer residence again. If these walls could talk. The Kiefers acquired this property in the early 1800s. Then, during the War of 1812, it became a field hospital. Kiefer House was a hospital again during the post-Second World War baby boom, and, until recently, a geriatric hospital. This house has witnessed many births and an equal number of deaths. Some say the building still holds the spirits of those who lived and died within its walls. We're here in Thorold, Ontario, here at the Keeper Mansion, also known as Maplehurst, and we're going to be going inside investigating as a team. And I'm Stephanie from Haunted Hamilton, and I'm going to be documenting the entire investigation here with the camcorder, the camera for taking pictures, and I also have dividing rods here to use tonight, too. Well, we're here in the basement of the Keeper Mansion. Um, maybe if we have the psychics lead us around now? There's several nasty spots down here we can go take a look at. Okay. First one is this room back here with the blue door. I do not like this room. I know that at one point this was a hospital. This, to me, feels like it would have been the morgue. It's just really creepy. It feels like death. It's very closed in. Um, it's just extremely unnerving going into this room. I'm not getting any conscious energy here. It's just... Like I said, I deal in emotions, so this is really one of those spaces where unhappiness rested for so long. It's hard to breathe in here. I don't want to stay in here. George Kiefer built the first house on this site. It was a log cabin. He lived there with his first of four wives, Catherine, and their children. In 1812, he joined the Lincoln Militia. In 1813, his original log home was taken over by U.S. troops to serve as an army hospital. His wife, Catherine, offered to help, a selfless act of bravery that cost her her life. She died a short time later of typhoid fever. I was working at the Kiefer Inn, and I was on break. I was just exploring the other floors of the house. When I was walking down one of the hallways, something caught the corner of my eye. There was a man sitting in a chair. So I got a little closer, and I noticed that the man was wearing a soldier's uniform. Immediately, I thought it was one of my buddies playing a prank or a joke or something. So I went right up to the soldier and I noticed it wasn't breathing. There was no signs of life or anything. Suddenly, he gasped. He fell to the ground and started crawling towards me. Then he just stopped. Suddenly, this woman just came out of nowhere and tried to pick him up. He was trying to help this soldier off the ground. I started yelling. I asked if he needed help, what was going on. 
she didn't respond at all. She didn't say one thing. She eventually got a good hold of him and tried, tried to drag him out of the hallway and into this other room. I followed them, and right then, I just couldn't believe what I saw. She dragged him into the wall. They just disappeared. After break, some of my buddies came back, and I told them what happened. They started laughing and thought I was making it up. No one believed me. No one believed what I saw. In the corner of this room, there is a small bricked-in area that looks like it may have been a secret passageway. If you look around the corner here, there is a small spot that you can see has been bricked over with red brick and painted again. This is where we think the underground tunnel came up in this house. These are the divining rods. We're using them to try and discern where the entrance to the tunnel was in this house, so we're asking it to point in the direction of the tunnel. Let's see if ours match up or not. See, mine keeps stopping right Look in that direction. Too. The Kiefers were highly trained and respected engineers. In fact, Kiefers were involved in a number of significant projects across the country in early days of development. George Kiefer worked with William Hamilton Merritt as president of the Welland Canal Company. Samuel Kiefer and Thomas Coltrane Kiefer were involved in overseeing the Parliament buildings, building the waterworks at Hamilton, building the suspension bridge at Niagara Falls as well as bridges in Montreal and driving the rail lines through the Great Rockies. A further Kiefer, Hugh Kiefer, was a reported property speculator and gambler. He was also a very savvy contractor. It's reported that one of his favorite gambling partners was Jesse James. It's also reported that the only Donnelly to have survived, the police raid that ended the lives of most Donnellys, owes his life to the fact that he had a previous engagement at the card tables of Hugh Kiefer. One of Hugh's favorite games was Euchre, and the number of steps up from the street to this famous mansion equals 24, the same number of cards in Euchre deck. 